All right, we got ourselves a 98 Dodge 1500 series 4x4 truck. It does not want to upshift. It uh, gets stuck in second and then high revs and spins out. And today we're going to cover the fix on that with the governor pressure solenoid and the governor pressure sensor. Uh, both come from uh, Chrysler. Do you remember? One, two. We're going to install both of these in the transmission. I've already gotten the uh, pan off and out of the way, so we're going to lean up underneath here and show you what we're working with. And here's the underside of your transmission. I'm going to get around on the other side and show you them solenoids we're working with. Now we're looking at the uh, passenger side uh, up underneath the valve body with the uh, transmission pan off. And that, this is, and this is what it'll look like. Um, the two that you're going to be dealing with is this one here. And you also want to check this band while you're in here. Check it for play by pushing on the back or lifting up from the front and seeing how much slack you have in there. You don't want a lot. So I'm going to remove some of that. This one here you can see even better. It's got a lot of slap in there. I'm going to remove that and I'm going to leave, uh, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch. And right now I'm up towards a half an inch. So I'm going to remove a lot of that. Uh, and you do that by releasing the nut and tensioning it down here. The second solenoid we're going to do is right here. So we're doing this one and this one. And what we're going to do is hit these half inch bolts right here. And then these right here. And that's going to allow me to take this block off of the valve body and replace these two. Um, that's, it's that simple. I'm going to take this off, replace these two, I'll clean it up and then we'll put it back together. Okay, here's the block removed. We had to remove the Torx heads here as well. I forgot to tell you that. There's two little Torx heads right there you have to remove as well. And then it'll just fall right out. But anyway, this is what we're going to do. We're going to slide this back like so. That's the retaining bracket for it. Uh, then we'll just pick this solenoid up, theoretically, and pull it right out. I can't do it with one hand. Let me uh, put this down and show you. There it goes. That's out. Now we're going to want to replace that one with the new one here in the package and it'll just drop straight down in there. I'm not going to install it yet because uh, I want to remove this one as well and then clean this up really well before I put it back in. This one removes a little differently. As you can tell from the bottom, you'll see right here is a little retaining black clip right there. So you take your screwdriver and get in there behind it and just remove the clip like so. Now, this one will pull right out. The O-rings kind of grab them a little bit. Now, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to put my solenoids back in, stick it back on the transmission, fill it up with fluid, and we'll be shifting once again. And there you go. And there we go. Reassembled and ready to rock. Two new solenoids installed, cleaned up. I'm going to take it now and bolt it back up to the uh, valve body, put the pan back on, fill it full of fluid. Yeah, so we put the solenoids in there, took it for a drive, it's just shifting great. John is very, very happy. We're doing his body work now, we're going to get this thing painted up, we'll show you that later on. But, uh, that's it. Truck fixed.